Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of an awesome bunk model. This is the 2024 Salem Hemisphere 310BHI. That stands for Bunkhouse Island. So it has its own separate bunk room. It also has a one piece fiberglass roof, a pantry, and washer and dryer prep. There is a lot to like about this. There's also a lot to go over. But if you're looking for all the specifications, things like length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, that'll be down in the description, including a link for the pricing. So if this is something that interests you, feel free to check all that out. If it's not, I still hope you guys uh, like me enough to hit that like and subscribe button for maybe some future RV content. They uh, threw down, got me a little campground with a couple of different brands. So I'm gonna be pumping out a lot of great content in a beautiful area that you see right here, you know, coming out in the next couple of days. But uh, let's start on the inside and work our way around the outside. Again, this is the 2024 Salem Hemisphere 310BHI. And this is like a, a fifth wheel setup in a travel trailer body. So I think this is gonna have, you know, a pretty good uh, little market for it. It is a heavy camper. It's at like 9,700 pounds. So it's definitely not for, you know, kind of your older F-150s or, you know, something like that. You need a pretty nice size truck for this, but I love the way that it is spaced out. I also think it looks absolutely beautiful. You also notice you got the barrel roof to create a little bit more headspace. I mean, you know, I am uh, six feet tall, a big, beautiful RV salesman, and you can see, you know, getting in here, it just feels nice and spacious, you know, so it'll definitely keep maybe some of the, um, maybe some of the sanity up, you know, on those rainy days. But since this is a bunk model, I'm going to go ahead and start back in the back and we'll get back to this living room, you know, here in a second. But as someone that's got four kids running around their house, I can appreciate a good bunk room. And this is definitely a good bunk room. So you're going to have a slide out over here with a sofa that is pretty little, pretty cool. So this also folds out, makes a queen size bed but it also folds up so you can use it as the sofa, you know, sit down, play some video games over here. And above it, there's also a drop down bunk as well. So you unclip this, unclip that, push it on down. Now you're ready to rock. You can sleep one up here, probably two fairly large kids down here as well. And then you have your other bunk right here too. And you notice this isn't just your regular, you know, kind of twin. It does look like it's a little bit larger uh, than most, which is pretty nice. Teddy bear mattress, so pretty darn comfy. You also get a window and an emergency exit. So pull, push, and plop. You can get out in a hurry. For you people that live out in a little bit of a warmer atmosphere, you are going to have uh, two ACs on this one in particular. Uh, but you also get, and let's see if I can get the camera. I don't know if it's showing it or not, but I can show it on the outside. But back behind this is actually going to be uh, like an alumafoil, like a thermofoil. So it reflects some of that heat and it keeps you know, it out, but it's also in a little bit of a track system here. So you don't have to worry about the kids, you know, pulling it out and all of that. It's also a little bit of a more seamless look. I think that's pretty appealing. Plenty of storage back here. And then you also have a place for your TV again, you know, to play some video games. You also have the appropriate outlets as well and a pullout drawer right here. But uh, I think that about does it here for that bunk room. Now heading out into the main area. You're going to notice again, two slides. This one's going to be your cooking slide. And then you have your seating slide is going to be right here. I also typically am not a big fan of where the, of a TV that's on an angle, but for this floor plan, you know, it really works. So you have your theater seating. You can also double tap for some, uh, some accent lighting there when you're fully plugged in. You also got four ports where you can put some drinks. If you want to double fist some brewskis, you got the ability to do it. Big old tinted windows, again, with that thermofoil, you help block out the sun, kind of get your Dracula on. But when you're sitting in the recliner, you know, this is the view that you're going to get on the TV. And even when you're at the dinette, it is still at a nice viewing angle. And I believe you can also uh, put that on a swivel to increase the severity of that angle too. So if you really want to, you know, sit here, you know, you absolutely can. You also have the Furion soundbar with an HDMI USB zone one and two. So it's going to be inside and outside. So you can rock some music on both sides. And then your mirrored reflective finish for the fireplace, which is pretty nice. You see that crystal clear with my little, <laughs> little Lakers socks. But um, it puts out enough heat to really heat the entirety of this camper, uh, you know, for this main area and probably bleeding back into the bedroom too with some proper air circulation. So that is nice to have. It also comes with a couple different coloring modes. You got your fuse box if something isn't working, you know, make sure to check that out. You got your island right here. So this is going to be the eye. And you notice you get the accent lighting. I also like the fact you get a stainless steel undermounted bowl. You also got your little drying rack doodad right there. 
kind of that flimsy fun one to play with. And then you got your high rise faucet with the bronze tap, hitting those dishes from all angles, hard wrapped plastic here in this brand. So this is going to be the same for Hemisphere and for Heritage Glen. They're sister products with kind of different decals, but it's not the cheap plastic that opens up on the sides. It actually is the hard wrap, more of a residential style. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Underneath the sink, you're going to get, you know, some pretty clean cut storage with uh, some access to your plumbing. And then you also get some more storage, you know, right over here as well. I kind of skipped over this, but uh, we'll get back to it right now. This is your dinette and notice how it's a little bit larger than most too. So, you know, for the people that are uh, a little bit rounder like myself, you're going to appreciate the size of this for sure. You also have the ability to knock those little pegs out and drop it down, you know, to sleep a couple extra folks. Maybe if your kids are having some buddies over or, um, you know, you got somebody that doesn't want to sleep with the kids can rock that out too. A little bit of storage, nice little area, you know, maybe for like a cure egg or uh, something of that nature, a little blender. If you want to get your margaritas on, if you're down at the campground, wanting to get a little, little funky, that's a good place to do it. A little glass insert there. A little storage. You also got probably about a little half nuck deep. I have a little bit of a nook there. Flip it around. We're back over to that cooking slide. You're going to notice you have, I think it's a 10.7 cubic foot Furion refrigerator. So this is going to be a 12 volt. So it'll run off of, you know, if you have, uh, this thing's got solar prep. So if you want to add solar on there, it'll run off that. If not, you know, your battery or a truck when you're driving down the road, that way you can stop, you know, and kind of come in, get a nice cool drink because while you're driving down the road, it's been cooling down your refrigerator. Here's where you control your heat and your AC. And then we have plenty of countertop space around the oven, which is nice. I like how the oven is kind of dispositioned over to the right. One, it allows you to have these big pull-out drawers. But two, you know, I'm a guy that likes to do some cooking. I'm definitely the chef of our family. And I think that's nice for, you know, maybe some uh, some prep space for sure. You also got the Furion microwave, another little window, and then the Furion hood, which is going to have a fan mode and then a light that you can toggle, you know, on and off. But another thing that I really like about this is going to be this pantry. One, it's perfect for your hanging items. But two, I mean, you could do all your stowaway items for winter when you're not using it or, you know, just all of your dry food storage. I mean, my family goes through an enormous amount of, you know, just cereal and snacks and foods in general. And that's a perfect place to put everything, including, you know, maybe some board games or something like that for, you know, your camping. Give you another little look here. Now let's head back into, you know, the old bathroom a -rooney. But before we get there, look, there's more. This is your control panel. So you have your awning controls, your slide out controls, your different lights, tank heaters, which is going to be nice. Uh, so that way you can camp a little bit deeper or earlier into the season and an area where you can easily check, you know, all of your uh, fill levels. And you have the Suburban 60K on demand hot water heater. So this is the same hot water heater that you use on your larger fifth wheels, your destination RVs, things like that. But it's basically instant water that lasts as long as you have propane. So it's a really nice feature to have. Here's into the bathroom. You can see pretty sharp looking, a little bit compact, but you know, definitely gets the job done. You also get the stainless steel bowl outlet, enough countertop space to be dangerous. But you also get the old porcelain foot flush throne. So again, you know, being a little bit of a bigger guy, that's important to have that porcelain throne because it's not going to be bending around, you know, underneath you. Plus, you know, I'm a little bit wide shouldered. I'm not bumping into walls. You know, you can sit down, do your business, do what you got to do. Also, the shower is large enough as well. You also got this little guy that comes out. But you're probably looking at about 6'5 up into the sunroof. But you can shower. <laughs> Flip this back around. Right into the mirror to show off the old bowling gun, baby. Pretty darn snazzy. Access to your plumbing you know, down here as well. And now we're off into the bedroom. And the bedroom is pretty darn impressive because you do have the VersaTilt, which is going to be controlled right here. So you see how that bedroom's and that the bed's at that funky angle right there. That's because the back has a 14-inch lift. So that way you can access more walk-around room, you know, when you're not using the bed. And you also get the ability to be able to access this massive closet, which again is washer and dryer prepped. So you can have, 
you know, full-time experience, you know, in this travel trailer, whether you're using it for an entire summer or, um, you know, just kind of a weekend, you have the ability to put in that washer and dryer. You also got a couple storage totes right down here and then both left and right. Notice how you got the outlets right there, the little cubby opening. That's if you got a CPAP, a nice discreet place to put it. Just kind of powers it up and gets it out of the way. And then you got some storage here up above as well. And notice going hands-free because it's on that strut system. But I think that about wraps it up here for the inside portion of the store. Again, this is the 2024 Hemisphere 310 BHI. Hit that like and subscribe button if you guys have made it that far. I would greatly appreciate it. Trying to push for 75000 here in the uh, 2023. That would be pretty darn special. So in case you missed it the first time around, um, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description. Things like the sizes for the dual awnings, which provide some great shade. You can see right here, I got a picnic table, a couple little fireplace with some tape, with some chairs set up. Uh, but it makes a really nice kind of camping, you know, spot to it. I like the fact that it's got the two uh, awnings. One piece fiberglass roof. So you're probably not overly familiar with that unless you get into like your high end luxury fifth wheels. I love the fact that this is doing that. It adds a little bit of weight to it, but also adds a lot of longevity. And it's just a nicer feature to have. Right here, you can see you got a massive pass through storage. You also got some outlets out here. This is that VersaTilt, the back end of it. So right there's going to be the lift. And then I forgot to show it on the inside, but this actually opens up. Uh, that's to the left of the bed. It's a little, um, you know, a little hamper for your clothes. That way you can come in and grab it and run down to, you know, the little, um, little campground. Let's see here. Wide stance suspension. So let's show you that. But first, they do have the power tongue jack or the power uh, stabilizing jacks. Control it right here. You also get the old happy camper. So if you got a little furry friend, perfect place for them. Screen door, outside speakers, and then your step above that flip up into the doorway that are also going to be, you know, much sturdier uh, for you if you're, um, you know, climbing up into the camper. The square windows too. The reason why they went with the square is so that way when they pull it in there, one, they could have that seamless kind of finish that I showed you, but also that thermofoil, which is really a big time plus. You have the tinted windows, but now you can reflect it. Kind of like if you put that aluminum foil stuff in your like windshield, it just keeps that temperature down so much better when you're not using the window for you know some natural lighting. Cable, outlet, and then there's that wide stance right there. You also got your Goodyear Endurance tires too. So couple that up, you're gonna have a really smooth ride on some pretty quality uh, tires, that's for sure. Your outside refrigerator is gonna be absolutely massive for a travel trailer. Again, it's kind of that fifth wheel trapped in a travel trailer body. But you got your capital griddle. It's kind of like that Blackstone right there. Get whipping up all the fixings. You know, you got burgers, you got bacon, you got tofu if you're a vegan. If you do that, I don't know, not me. Two USBs, two outlets, some fancy pants brass knobs there and then you got a refrigerator that is big enough you know for probably about a 96 pack of rooney of some apple juices and a plumbed in sink down here as well and that's the control for your rear stabilizing jack but you also get uh, the prep for your uh, lp quick connect heading out the back you'll see you got that black bar right there that is for the lippert on the go ladder system so that can get on you on top of your fully walkable roof you know check your seals check your slides you're ready to rock. You also have Furion observation camera prep, four and a half inch screen that you suction cup right onto your windshield. And this is pretty interesting. Your docking station is really uh, out here. So your freshwater connection, city water connection, black tank flush, which is a sprinkler system for your poop tank. And you also got hot and cold water access in the form of an outside shower to kind of brush down the kids or whatnot if they're getting, you know, kind of dirty stomping around at a campground. This is also a container for the old stinky slinky. And you got a hitch, a receiver right there if you want to plug in, you know, bike racks, you know, or something of that nature. Uh, you are eligible too, if you would like at a dealership level to add on uh, slide toppers. So that's going to be nice. You know, if you're down at a fun town RV, you want to add some slide toppers, go ahead and ask them for it. Get that installed right on there. And it's really going to help prevent, you know, if you're underneath a tree and debris falling on top, it prevents debris from falling on top. So that way when you close it, you don't get that leak from that slide. By the way, too, if you plan, if you live in that Texas area, I'm going to that uh, the AT&T show with Funtown. I'm pretty freaking excited about that. That's at the Cowboy Stadium. 
Sounds unreal. Drop a comment if you guys have gone. I'm super excited for that. 50 amp plug-in. And then right over here is the other side of that pass-through storage. And again, you got that aluminum frame construction. You got your battery disconnect right here. And then you have your slam latch doors, you know, as well, you know, which is nice. It also has a magnetic connection. There's all the specs for the unit. So feel free to pause on that. Heading up the front, you got a place for your battery, two propane tanks, and your power tongue jack. And you see you also got that big old window up in the front with those, uh, those LED lights. But all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Again, my name is Hunter, and this was the 2024 Salem Hemisphere 310 BHI. Hope to see you next time. See you.